Hey everyone, it is Friday and I am getting out of work right now. It is the weekend. Kind of a uh, depressing day here in the state of Rhode Island. Uh, for as long as I can remember, I, they came in about the time I was born. Uh, Rhode Island has always had the Pawtucket Red Sox, which is an affiliate of the Boston Red Sox. Well, that's no more. Uh, the Pawtucket Red Sox will be moving to Worcester, Massachusetts in 2021. So, the Paw Sox are gone. Uh, kind of kills me a little bit because it's uh, um, another thing, of my, another part of my childhood that's going. But um, I'll get into it a little bit more once I get home and everything. But I'm probably going to stop and get my hair cut on the way home and then head home and I'll get with you guys when I get there. All right, everyone, I am done with my hair cut. I can't see it that well in here, I don't think. The lighting's not that good. I'll show you it when I get home. Uh, I was going to get a buzz, but I chickened out. My wife would have killed me if I got my head shaved. But uh, I'm heading home right now, and I'll be there in a couple of seconds, so I'll get with you there. All right, everyone, I am home, and you can see the hair cut a little bit better here. Better lighting than in the truck. Uh, I go to a place that's called Sports Clips. Uh, it's a franchise. They're all over the place. Uh, you can check them out online. They have this thing called the MVP. It's... I believe it's seventeen dollars, and oh, you walk out of there, you're jelly. You get your hair washed, massage, face. Uh, you get the uh, massager on your back. Oh, oh, it's so nice. It is absolutely so nice. But uh, so I got the haircut. I'm getting a cup of coffee here. The thing I wanted to touch on today, and it's actually. It's kind of a sad day here in Rhode Island. Uh, it was announced today that uh, the Pawtucket Red Sox, or the Poor Sox, will be leaving Rhode Island in 2021. Uh, the Poor Sox are the AAA affiliate of the Boston Red Sox that play in the International League. Uh, basically, they're the players that are just about to make it into the major leagues. For the Basically, the, the gist of it. Uh, Paw Sox have been, or Pawtucket Red Sox have been in Rhode Island playing at McCoy Stadium in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Uh, I believe it was 1973 they came in. Uh, the team was basically in bankruptcy uh, when a gentleman named Ben Mondo took over the team. And he brought them up to be one of the most powerful, financially stable teams in minor league baseball. Uh, I grew up around the Pawtucket Red Sox. I lived right down the street. Uh, both my elementary and my middle school were directly across the street from the stadium. Uh, I spent countless, countless afternoons uh, chasing down baseballs that were hit as home runs in batting practice. Uh, and we, we would use them to when we played our Sandlot games. Uh, I... I don't think I'm exaggerating if I could say that I've been to thousands of games, uh, if not high hundreds of games. Uh, I remember being around 12, 13 years old, and there was a way that you could get into the stadium, the old stadium, before they redid it. Uh, you could sneak into the stadium through a, a chain link fence that wasn't secure. So I, I got in many games that way. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad. I mean, as an adult now, I see it both. I, I I see it as both ways. Uh, is it sad because it's another part of my youth that's going to be gone? Uh, a lot of the stuff that I grew up with is gone in the city of Pawtucket. Uh, movie theaters, restaurants, uh, parks, different things—they're all gone. Uh, so it, yeah, it's it's kind of sentimental reasons. It, it kind of hurts a little bit. But financially, as an adult now and a homeowner and a taxpayer. Uh, it makes sense. It made sense for what the state of Rhode Island did. Basically, the these billionaire owners of sports franchises trying to hold cities or states. In our case, Rhode Island's so small, they're trying to hold the whole state hostage 
try to get a ransom to keep this team in the state. And financially, it just did not make sense for the state of Rhode Island. Uh, it basically, what the, the owners of Paw Sox is Larry Lucchino, who used to be a co-owner of the Boston Red Sox. He purchased the Red Sox when Mr. Mondod passed away um, several years ago. And he's been pushing for a new stadium since then, so the, since the moment he got into the office. So what well, basically they wanted was in the city of Providence, Rhode Island, which is the state capital, if you didn't know, uh, they moved an interstate highway. Interstate 195 was moved about a half a mile south from where it originally was, and all this prime real estate has opened up. Well, the Pawtucket Red Sox, the ownership group for the Pawtucket Red Sox, wanted to build the stadium right on the river in the center of Providence. And the state, they wanted to buy the land from the state for pennies on the dollar. Like I said, this is prime real estate right in downtown Providence, which is, is growing right now. So the state said no because they have other uses for that land. Well, once the state said no, in my opinion, there was no way that the Red so the Paw Sox were going to stay in Rhode Island. So they announced today that, the, like I said, the Paw Sox are going to be moving to Worcester, Massachusetts. And different reports that I've gotten so far that I've seen, not 100% sure whether they're true, but it, it looks like it's going to be expensive to go there. It's going to be very expensive. The way McCoy Stadium in Pawtucket is right now is you have free parking. There's plenty of street par on street parking, parking lots. For the majority of it, it's free. There are some businesses that charge you to park in their lots, but there's plenty of free parking around there. You don't need to park in those lots. Uh, tickets to a game, you can, I've gone with my family, the four of us, um, bought tickets, ate, I mean, hot dogs, french fries, drinks, everything. And we got out of there under, I'd say under $70, $60 or $70 for the four of us. And at any type of sports venue, that is incredible. That is really cheap. From what I understand with the Worcester Stadium, you're going to have to pay to park. Uh, tickets are going to be starting at around $20 to get into the stadium. Uh, the neighborhood that it's in is not the nicest of areas. Uh, whether when they build the stadium, they're going to clean it up or not. It, it's it's right off of Interstate 290 in the city of Worcester. It's the Canal District, they, they call it. If I remember correctly, at one point in time, they had try put, tried to put a factory outlet mall in there. And it failed, ended up failing, because the city of Worcester was charging you to park to go to this mall. And it's not like it was a high-end demand area for parking. They were charging because they could, and that ended up killing that mall. So, uh, I, I this uh, Worcester, you, you're getting what you deserve on this. Um, the big thing is, is from what the re preliminary reports that I've seen, state of Massachusetts is only contributing thirty five million dollars, and that's to help build the infrastructure, uh, the roads, the power lines, the water pipes, sewer, those sort of things. They are not paying for any of the stadium. Whereas the plan that they had in Pawtucket, which would have been right off of Interstate 95, which is major interstate, uh, with easy on and off ramps, uh, I believe that the state of Rhode Island and the city of Pawtucket were supposed to tr contribute around 80 to $90 million there. Now, I'm not 100% sure on that. That's, like I said, just the preliminary reports, what I've read quickly. But I just want to say it's, it's sad. It's really sad that... You know, you have these million dollars. I mean, I think I've read that if you combine the 10 owners in this uh, Paw Sox ownership group, their combined wealth is in the neighborhood of $10 billion. Excuse me, $4 billion. The 10 ownership, 10 people in the group combined wealth of $4 billion. That's with a B dollars and they're trying to hold local municipalities hostage like this it's it's sad it's really sad it happened god it's got to be 
I don't know, it's got to be probably be about 20 years ago when the New England Patriots were threatening to leave Massachusetts and go down to Hartford. Um, they wanted, the ownership group at that point in time wanted the state to build them a new stadium. And Why are taxpayers paying these owners, paying to build their stadiums that they're going to make the profits off of? Uh, it, it's it's time, and it's happening more and more now that uh, these municipalities are starting to smarten up, and then not giving in to the these. Uh, I don't even know what I want to call them. It, it's it's pathetic that. Uh, yeah, it's it's just sad, but like I said, I, right now I'm a little depressed because, like I said, it's another part of my youth that's gone. Uh, it's something, I like said. Uh, Pawtucket Red Sox, or as, as I know them, or the Paw Sox now, uh, it's the home of the longest game in professional baseball history. I actually was at that game. Uh, my grandfather took me. It was in 1981. Uh, it was the Saturday before Easter. And I remember my mother being so mad because my grandfather kept me out so late. We stayed in the, until about the 14th or 15th inning. And I remember it was cold. It was really cold. And we ended up leaving and going home. Well, that game ended up going until 4 o'clock in the morning. They played 32 innings when they finally got a hold of the president of the International League. They suspended the game at, at the 32 innings. And they played the final inning, the 33rd inning, in June. And the Pawtucket Red Sox won it in the bottom of the 33rd inning. Uh, some of the strange facts on that is uh, there were multiple Hall of Famers that played in that game. Is Wade Boggs played in that game. Cal Ripken Jr. played in that game. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the others. Uh, really high-profile Major League Baseball players played in it. Uh yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to remember that. And there was actually, I believe there was one player in that game that when the game started, he was playing for uh, the Rochester team, which was the Rochester Red Wings. And during the season, he got traded to Pawtucket. So he started the game for Rochester and finished the game for Pawtucket. So he could have technically have, have pitched for both teams in the game. A little, little fact, a little fact, but... Uh, yeah, like, like I said, I mean, uh, I'm torn on it, but financially it just did not make sense for the state of Rhode Island to dump this much money into it. Uh, we just got screwed with the 38 studios uh, over the past few years where the state of Rhode Island gave millions and millions of dollars to Kurt Schilling and his company failed and the state of Rhode Island's, you know, got to pay that bill now. So we couldn't go into something like that. That would have it would have destroyed the state. So unfortunately, they they are leaving. But they're here until 2021. I don't know whether I'm going to go to a game. I really don't know whether I'm going to go to any more Paw Sox games while they're here. Uh, it's sad. It's it's really sad that these they ju they're just money grubbing uh, rich people where they 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 don't care about the little guy. So but. Anyway, uh, that's my little rant on the Paw Sox. Uh, that's the big news here in Rhode Island today. Uh, so, yeah. So, but all right. I've got a couple other things I got to do here, and I will get back with you guys in just a little bit. All right, everyone. That's going to be it for tonight. Uh, yeah, it's a sad day in, in Rhode Island today. A really sad day in Rhode Island. Uh, Paw Sox has been an institution for almost 45 years. Actually, over 45 years. We're almost 50 years. And to have them taken away over money, and yeah, it's just sad. It's sad. But anyway, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. If you're new to the vlog, thank you for coming in. Uh, I... I do so many different types of blogs in here that I really can't categorize myself as one type of blog. So I got to work on that because I know that's probably one of the things hurting me with people watching the blog. Anyway, that being said, if this is your first time. Thank you. Uh, check me out. Uh, if you like this vlog, if you agree with what I said, if you have any memories of the Pawtucket Red Sox, 
Put them in the comments down, down below, downstairs. Yeah, you got to go down a couple of stairs and type. Been a long, hot day here in Rhode Island, and yeah. <laughs> but thanks. Uh, if, like I said, if you like the vlog, click the thumbs up over here. And if you're not currently subscribed to this channel, you can click the subscribe button over here. You click that little bell icon right next to it, you'll get a notification anytime that I put up a vlog. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Like I said in the vlog, I am disappointed that that the Paw Sox are going to be leaving Rhode Island. Uh, it's, we've got, I think it's three more seasons before they leave, but I understand why the state of Rhode Island did it, and I do agree with why the state of Rhode Island did it. Uh, financially, it's, it's just, I don't think that it's worth it. Um, so, but I'll be back tomorrow, tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, we're supposed to have rainy weather and it's uh, thunderstorms and all that stuff during the day. So I'm not really sure what we're going to do. I know that we do want to go out and look for a living room set. Uh, we want to try out this new pizza place that came in. Uh, it's called Pepe's Pizza. You may have heard it. I guess it's a, a chain type pizza place. Well, the first one opened up in Rhode Island down in Walwick. So we're going to try that out tomorrow. So that being said, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow.